the seas of Aran, the island of Inishmore, by the village of Bungawa, autumn 1934. A frail Korach battles the Atlantic. Stephen Duran, Pat McDonough, and a man the filmmaker tells us was called Big Patching Connealy of the West are an islanders all. Skilled boatmen, experienced fishermen, in no little danger. The filmmaker, the famous American director Robert Flaherty, did not chance upon the scene. He set it up. He needed a climax for his picture of contemporary Aran life, the now classic film we know as Man of Aran. He wanted a Korach in a monstrous sea. He knew, as he was to write, how dangerous this was. I have already been accused of trying to drown a boatload of wild Irishmen on Arran. There's one scene I remember when the Korach was trying to get to land. Suddenly, a jagged tooth of rock is revealed. If it had struck that rock, the Korach would have been ripped from bow to stern, and the three men would have been drowned before our eyes. I should have been shot for what I asked these superb people to do for the film, for the enormous risks I exposed them to. And for what? For a film but for a special kind of film, a documentary film, a film that is supposed to capture the drama of real life, a kind of film invented by Robert Flaherty, the father of the documentary. <laughs> 